Um, I'm going to show you some uh, volume measuring devices that you will have in your drawer or you may have them outside, but you're going to use them the entire semester. So here are beakers. You can have various sizes of beakers. This one is a 600 mil, this is 250 mils. Uh, so you can have a beaker, you can have Erlenmeyer flasks, which are also known as conical flasks. Again, they come in different sizes. This is 50, this is 250, this one is 125. So depending on how much volume you need, you uh, take that kind. And then here we have graduated cylinders. Most of the times, if you want to measure any liquid out, you would typically use a grad cylinder. You will not use an Erlenmeyer flask or a beaker. Those are used generally for very approximate uh, measurements. But graduated cylinders are used a lot for a little bit more accuracy. This is a, a 10, this is a 50 milliliter. You can have a 100 milliliter or you can also have uh, half a liter of grad cylinder. And then finally, the last thing you may be using is what we call a volumetric flask. And volumetric flasks come in very specific sizes. So for example, this one is 100 milliliters. And you can see that there is no gradient uh, in the middle over here. The only gradient we have is right here, which is at the 100 milliliter mark, which means you cannot measure 50 milliliters in here. Depending on what you're trying to do, you can have a larger one as well. So this one is a 250 milliliters. You can get up to a liter volumetric flask. And again, there is no gradient. There is just one mark over here which measures up to 250. So obviously, if you want to measure uh, 10 milliliters, this is not a very good measuring device. For a 10 milliliter, a 10 milliliter grad cylinder is going to be the best measuring device. One other thing that I want to show you for some of these measuring devices is, for example, if you look at the 250 Erlenmeyer flask, you will see that the measurement or the gradient actually goes only up to 225 milliliters. It doesn't go up to 250 milliliters as the flask says, which means that if you fill it up to the top, then it's going to be 250. Otherwise, you can measure 225, 200, 150, but not accurately 250 milliliters. That's not going to be possible. And the same thing happens, well, I guess it doesn't happen for the 50 milliliters, but there is a mark over here. So this is a little bit better for measuring out the 50 milliliters, but this is not good for 250 milliliters. The same thing can happen for beakers also, which is why these are not accurate measuring devices. Here in this beaker, which is 250 milliliters, measures only up to 200 milliliters. Okay, and so which means that you really have to fill it up to the top in order to know that you have 250, which is also a presumption that you're making. It's not an accurate measurement. The other thing I would like you to note um, in these uh, gradients is that the gradient goes from 150 to 175 maybe, and then 200. So the gradients here are not very pronounced, which means that you really cannot accurately measure 180 or 190 milliliters in here. It's not going to be possible. So in those cases, you really have to use the graduated cylinder to get an accurate measurement. Okay, so the beakers are not good measuring devices.